सो हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू द चैनल एंड यू आर लिसनिंग टू कोमल टाया सो गाइज इन सेंस लास्ट फ्यू वीडियोज वी आर डिस्कसिंग अबाउट प्रीवियस ईयर क्वेश्चन ऑफ सुपर पोजिशन प्रिंसिपल ओनली सो इन दिस वीडियो ऑल्सो आई एम आई थिंक दिस इज द लास्ट वीडियो और वन मोर वीडियो दैट विल डिपेंड दैट हाउ लॉन्ग इट विल टेक राइट सो वी आर गोइंग टू वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट सम प्रीवियस ईयर क्वेश्चन वन टू टू क्वेश्चन सो गाइज आफ्टर दैट वी आर गोइंग वी आर गोइंग टू जम्प ऑन टन link and you know that how much important that topic is right so without delaying let's start our today's video right so i'm going to take one question that has come in csr net 2017 so that is this one net 2017 question clear so according to it the correct normalized wave function for one of the sp2 hybrid orbital is so guys can you see so basically we don't have any idea that how to check that which one is correct option so first uh, first first just recognize this that what that this this question that this qu question belongs to which topic so can you see this is a sum of this different state so whenever there will be sum of different state or different wave functions so you will assume that this is question from superposition principle clear guys you will assume that this is the question from superposition principle clear so now what we'll do that okay i have identified because in each option it is sum of different wave function different state which is 2s 2px and 2py clear so okay the first thing is done that i have identified that this question belongs to superposition principle because in superposition principle you write one wave function and then write c1 and psi1 plus c2 psi2 and you can write according to how many states you want clear and in similar manner manner it is written in every option it is written the coefficient and then wave function coefficient and then wave function again coefficient and then wave function that means they are representing different state with different coefficient clear and these coefficients are telling about the probabilities clear guys so now what examiner is asking us that the correct normalized wave function so we have to identify can you see that all are sp2 it is s it is px py so all are sp2 orbital only so now we have to identify that uh, what is correct normalized wave function clear so correct normalized so i told you that if this correct nor if this is normalized if i want to check whether psi is normalized or not psi is normalized or not i told you one thing so okay i'm writing over here psi is normalized or not that will depend over one thing so do you remember that condi condition if you are following me regularly so you all must be knowing that there is one condition to check whether psi is normalized or not what is that con condition so how many states are there first of all tell me 1 2 3 in every option you can see in every option there are three orbitals or three uh, or three wave function or three state clear so i will write three coefficients and i will check this one c1 square plus c2 square plus c3 square so i have three orbitals so i will write three coefficient and that should be equal to 1 then only this psi will be normalized then only psi is normalized so i am writing over it that if c1 square plus c2 square plus c3 square is equal to 1 then psi is normalized so that i have to check so guys that is the underlying principle for superposition principle people who are seeing me for the very first time or seeing this lecture for the first time guys this is the condition this is a condition for checking whether psi is normalized or not so how you'll identify first the question that this is from superposition principle you will see if sum are given if sum of different wave function is given and different and coefficients are there associated with them then you will check that okay then you will assume that this question belongs to superposition principle clear so now what you will do now what you will do that okay for checking that psi this psi is normalized or not psi is normalized or not you will check this condition which is c1 square plus c2 square plus c3 square is equal to 1 or not so we'll see in which option this condition is getting satisfied so let's take first option so okay i have taken first so what is c1 so guys this is c1 the 1 by 3 is c1 here 1 by c3 1 by 3 is c2 and again 1 by 3 is c3 so now i'll check that whether c1 plus c2 square plus c3 square is equal to 1 or not so 
let's check. So what is C1 square? That is 1 by 3. So I will take 1 by 3 square plus what is C2? That is 1 by 3. Can you see? C2 is 1 by 3. So I will put 1 by 3 square and then plus C3 square. So C3 is again 1 by 3. So I will put 1 by 3 square. So now can you see that would become 1 by 9 plus 1 by 9 plus 1 by 9. Clear guys? That will become 1 by 9 plus 1 by 9 plus 1 by 9. So it will become 3 by 9. So automatically it will become 1 by 3. So can you see guys that the answer is 1 by 3 which is not equal to 1. So this option is not normalized. This option is not normalized. Clear? So let's check for second option. Let's check for second option. So second option, the second option, the C1 is this one, 1 by root 3. C2 is 2 by root 3 and 1 by root uh, 6 it is C3. So let's check that uh, whether C1 square plus C2 square plus C3 square is equal to 1 or not. So I will write C1 square which is 1 by root 3 square. So okay I have written it. Plus now I will write 2 by root 3 square which is C2 square. 2 by root 3 square plus now what I'll write 1 by root 6 square. So okay let's write it. So now what will happen now? What will happen now that this will become this. This will become 1 by 3 plus 4 by 3 plus 1 by 6 which will become what? Let's take the LCM. Clear. Let's take the LCM. So it will become 3 to the 6 2 plus 3 to the 6 2 4 the 8 plus and it is 1 only. Clear. So it will become 8 plus 2 10 plus 11 by 6 it will become 11 by 6 which is not equal to 1 then again it is not normalized so guys this 1 and 2 option it is not normalized so let's see whether this this one the sec this third option or and the fourth option is normalized or not clear so let's see what uh, how these third and fourth options are different so let's see yeah so let's take it so i'm taking third option now so let's take third option so according to third option, what is C1? This is C1, this is C2 and this is C3. Clear? So it will become what? It will become 1 by root 3 square which is C1 square plus C2 square which is 1 by root 2 square. Clear? And plus 1 by root 6 square. So let's see what will happen now. So 1 by root 3 square it will become 1 by 3 and 1 by root 2 square it will become 1 by 2 plus 1 by root 2, 6 square that will become 1 by 6. So when I'll be taking the LCM it will become 2 plus 3 plus 1. Clear? So that will become 3 plus 2, 5 plus 1, 6 by 6 and now my option is 1. So now can I say that this, this option is normalized? Can I say that the third option is normalized? Because when I'm taking the LCM, it is coming equal to 1. It is coming equal to 1. So now, now my correct answer would be 3. So this is the correct option. I don't have to go to the th fourth option for that. Clear? So this third option is correct option because sum of this C1 square plus C2 square plus C3 square is equal to 1. So that means I can say that psi is normalized. Clear guys? That is, that's it for this one. Clear? So that's it for this one guys. I hope you liked today's lecture. So it was important question because this question came in 2017 exam. Right? So it is very important from examination point of view. In fact, this superposition principle is very much important from this examination point of view. Clear? So guys, uh, what you can do what uh, you can also follow me on other social media platforms like instagram and also if you have any query any doubt please feel free to use the comment section and also also guys like this lecture if you seriously liked it and if you got to know some new things right and please tell me your honest feedback in the comment section right and tell me how many people stayed till the end that hashtag i stayed here till the end right so that so that uh, so that wise i can get to know that how much people are following my videos religiously clear and so that's it for this one guys i'll see all of you in the next one so wait 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 let me tell you one more thing that in the next video again uh, that will be the last video for superposition principle ultimately last i promise that will last clear so that will be the last video from for superposition principle and 
and there i'll discuss two questions i guess only two questions and that will be the end of the superposition principle then we are going to jump over this topic which is tunneling clear so that's it for this one i hope you like the lecture and uh, you can follow me on instagram also so link will be here somewhere around here and uh, bye bye and keep smiling bye